always a pleasure to be here with the GOAT. Ricky, thank you for everything yeah, that you do. First off, this track. You have done it once again, my friend. Tell me about what we can expect. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So a couple things different this year, the first turn. It's a 180 sweeping corner, which is really nice. Uh, I think it will slow things down a little bit and uh, give more opportunity for guys maybe lining up on the outside. Um, and it's a different direction than what it's been the last several years. So uh, I'm excited about that as well. Um, just my initial thoughts. It looks pretty busy, uh, but at the same time, you never know until, this, until these guys get on and start racing it. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun to uh, to see what happens and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm I can't wait to see. It. Speaking of excitement and opportunity, I almost got to take a double take. The GOAT on a Triumph, I think it's so great. A legendary brand. But you know, when we were coming up, it was all about the big four. We're seeing other manufacturers enter. How cool is this? What do you think this means for the sport and the opportunity guys will have? Yeah, I think it just shows you the strength and, uh, you know, the desire for people wanting to be in this market and how strong this market is. Uh, I think that should, uh, should be gratifying and know that uh, the sport's in a great spot from that perspective. So uh, I'm excited about it. And of course, you know, being here on the Triumph TF 250, the new model that I was part of developing, uh, it, it's awesome, especially to be associated oh, with an iconic brand like Triumph. Very cool. Always a pleasure to be joined with an absolute motorsports legend, the general, Mr. Brian Deegan. I gotta say congratulations. Last week, we signed it at first Supercross win. How proud are you as a dad who has just been there every step of the way? Yeah, it's exciting. There's a lot of ups and downs in racing, and you, you know, you usually see the good moments, but most people don't get to see the, the tough moments, you know, that happen at home or uh, at the gym or at the doctor, all the stuff that goes into being a winner in this sport. Very, very tough sport, you know. It's like, I've done a lot of car racing, but I grew up racing dirt bikes, and it's just a brutal sport. So, uh, you know, come out and win, you gotta enjoy those moments. Well, what I love is we were watching you on the track, too, and still guiding your son, giving him yeah. advice every step of the way. I said it four years ago, they got a great mentor. Your whole family does. So congratulations. Yeah. And what's next for you? Where can we see you race? Uh, I'm mean, going to still doing, uh, like, Nitro. I'll do some of those races. And then uh, King of the Hammers, off-road stuff. Still do uh, a lot with Can-Am. And then, uh, yeah, as far as the Pro 2, Pro 4s, those days... Those days I always sold those and uh, now I'm doing the can and stuff, which is enough to give me that good feeling of racing. I love racing, I love the competition, so it's fun. Tell me someday there could maybe be a Crandon comeback. What yeah, yeah, I think with a one-off, you know, I'd love to, I like to arrive and drive. When someone calls me and says, we got a seat for you, come race, and I like that. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much, General. We appreciate it, guys. It's the last thing for you. You have also come a long way as an announcer. I love listening Thanks. to you. Are there any parallels with the hard work you put in riding versus the improvements you've made as an announcer? Are there any, is there any crossover there, or is it just two different things? Yeah, there's a lot of crossover because, you know, as much effort. I put in developing this bike. I put into to, to my job as an analyst for NBC Sports and this great, this great sport that I love so much. You know, uh, I never thought that I would enjoy what I'm doing up in the booth as much as I have the last couple of years. Some people that have helped me along the way uh, really enjoy it and, and help me improve as well. So uh, it's awesome. And this is an incredible year to be a part of the Supercross fan. I'm as much of a fan as I am an, an analyst. So. Uh, it's good. It's I, a great time. I love it. You still look to be in great shape. We can't wait to watch a race. I guess one more I gotta see again is I had the pleasure of calling the two-stroke nationals. Oh yeah. Glenn Helen. They're calling Mike Brown the greatest vet ever. He is an animal. You think maybe RC's got something? No, on? no, no. I have to tell you right now, I don't uh, I'm a little nervous to get out here on this track. I, I'm not supercross scares me anymore. I, my time in supercross is done. So uh yeah, I think he is the fastest vet rider, especially in that video I saw on Supercross. So uh, see what happens. Good luck and thank you for everything that you do. We appreciate it. He's the GOAT guy.